Step number five, resources. Guitar performance knowledge data. Welcome to the resources section of this program. We will study here in depth why the system works, strategies and the psychology of guitar performance. At this time, I'm sure you already know your outcome, purpose and beliefs. The only missing supplement is called resources. Resource is a source of supply, support or aid, especially one that can be readily drawn upon when needed. www.dictionary.com This is a very special section. Here is the place we will discuss in depth subjects that have the power to awake your creative side. You will be going through a very dense and scientific part of the program. What does this mean? This means I will declare some facts, provide numerous reasons for them to be truth, and explore the non-linear learning approach with you. In other words, there is no step-by-step -step here. Here is the place to immerse yourself into and go for an interesting journey with me. This journey has no beginning or end, it just is what it is. Every one of you will understand what you are ready to understand at this moment, neither more nor less. The more you listen to this section, the better you will be able to integrate this knowledge into your performance. This is the kind of segment you should listen to a few times in order to fully capture the material. It is designed to be like that for a reason, and that is, everybody needs to listen to a particular concept first in order to complete their unique sense of reality. Before starting, I want you to jump to the subsection related to your outcome and just listen to that for now. Why? Because it's very important that you start taking some kind of action before emerging yourself into all the areas of this complex segment. This should be the last section to be listened to on its totality. The contents are very interesting, they can keep you away from the entire step-by-step -step system, and I don't want it to be lost in a logical trance before taking some kind of action towards your outcome. Use this chapter as a reference only. Once you finish following the entire program, you can come back and listen to this entire section as many times as you want. Remember, it's the real action that will make you achieve your outcome. This chapter closes the giving supplement section of the program. And as you know that if you eat a lot of foods and don't exercise, you become fat. In the same way that if you have a lot of knowledge and don't use it, you become stuck. So let's use what we have learned so far plus the specific chosen resource and start to take action. Take a look at the following subsections, choose the one related to your outcome, and then go straight to the destroying section. It's there the real fun begins. Do it now. Body. Musicians are also athletes. We already discussed this topic very briefly before, and here you will learn some more specific related information. The capability of producing music comes directly from our ability to move our bodies. The more we understand how we move, the more we will be able to translate our musical ideas into reality. Listen, I don't care if you are the most creative person in the face of the earth, if you have fabulous ideas about music, and if you know everything about music history and theory, because if you don't have the ability to physically perform on an instrument, you will never be able to be an outstanding interpreter, period. Of course, our musical ideas are very important, and we all possess them, but what is the real purpose? The purpose of all knowledge is action, and that is not different for music. The reason you are so creative is so you can use your creativity. Your musicianship is located in your minds and hearts, and it will only be real in the physical world when you physically perform it with your own hands. How does this process work? How can we really possess this critical ability? 
This section focuses on answering a series of questions like that. It's time to get ready. Prepare yourself to be immersed in the fascinating world of body mechanics. Have you ever thought how active your muscles are while you play a piece? What about your joints then? I don't know if you ever thought about that before, but muscles and joints are the only two instruments of our body that require our control regarding performance. It is so simple but true. Controlling your muscles and joints is everything you need to know in order to physically perform the guitar. In order to utilize them at the full extent, it's important that you keep or improve their quality by exercising and having a good diet. Health plays a major role in your technique, and whether you like it or not, it will always show up in your playing. Muscles. There are three qualities we can improve in our muscles. Number one, strength by working out. Every time you work on your body as a whole, your hands and fingers naturally benefit from that as well. You must never work on directly strengthening the fingers themselves. This action can bring you a series of problems such as hand diseases and slowness. Your strength will be enough if you do a light workout in your main body parts, such as chest, back, arms, abs and legs. Remember to always consult a doctor before doing any kind of physical activity. I don't take any responsibility if you choose to not do that. I also strongly recommend you talking to your personal trainer and ask him or her for a series of sets that will benefit you as a musician. I personally avoid all exercises that require my wrist to bend and also those which require finger movements. Lately, I've been experimenting more with solely cardio exercises that involves my entire body in the process, and the results have been very positive so far. Number 2. Flexibility by stretching I will give you here two basic exercises that I perform regularly. Do them consistently before and after playing. Number 1. Extend your left arm straight forward and bend your wrist up. Pull your fingers towards you with the right hand until you can. Don't force too much. And count up to approximately 12 seconds. Do it with your both hands. Number 2. Extend your left arm straight forward and bend your wrist down. Pull your fingers towards you with the right hand until you can. Don't force too much. And count up to approximately 12 seconds. Do it with both hands. Number 3. Speed by Relaxed Leverage Procedure This training has the purpose to condition your muscles to possess a faster response. There are three kinds of muscle fibers present in our body. The slow twitch fibers, responsible for strength and endurance, the fast twitch fibers, responsible for speed, and the intermediate twitch fibers, present both the slow and fast twitch fiber traits. The traditional workout by the use of repetitions and weights doesn't work for speed. These tools are made for increasing the muscle mass. The purpose is to make you stronger by getting you to execute a series of continuous movements that develops the slow twitch fibers. Now, when we think about speed, it's irrelevant to work on continuity, but definitely critical to focus on the acceleration of your movements. We need to work on the fast twitch fibers. Acceleration and relaxation are the secret for speed. How can we work on the muscle speeds then? The way I figure this out is by using what I call the relaxed leverage procedure. I came up with this concept while stretching my muscles up to a considerable amount of pressure 
and then releasing the pressure by making a very comfortable leverage. I will show you how in a second. The leverage makes your muscle work more or less like uh, rubber bands. That is where speed comes from. The more you see your muscles as flexible and full of acceleration energy, the faster you will be. Part of acquiring this ability is physical and part is mental. The mental aspect will be discussed later on at my signature theory. Here is what I do for the physical aspect. Fingers flexors. Steps. Step number one. Position the palm of your right hand towards your chest. Close, don't touch it, okay? And really focus on relaxing your wrists and the hand as a whole. Two. Once your hand is totally relaxed, create a gentle leverage on your index finger towards the outside of your hands using your left hand's thumb, as if you were stretching it. Number three. Allow the index finger to slip away from your thumb in a very comfortable way. It will snap very fast. Number four, do the same for all the other fingers and also for the left hand. Please watch this video demonstration and you will see how it's done. Fingers extensors. Steps. Step number one. Position the palm of your right hand towards your chest. Close, don't touch it, okay? And really focus on relaxing your wrists and the hand as a whole. Number two. Once your hand is totally relaxed, create a gentle leverage on your index finger towards the insides of your hands using your left hand index, medium and ring finger together, as if you were stretching it. Number three, allow the index finger to slip away from your left hand fingers in a very comfortable way. It will snap very fast. And number four, do the same for all the other fingers and also for the left hand.
If you correctly follow the exercise, you should feel now your hands very relaxed and also very active at the same time. Joints Now that we talked about the muscles, let's talk a little bit about our joints. Joints are structures that hold two or more bones together. The joint's number one role is to make our movements painless by providing a cartilage that serves as a cushion for our bones. The number two role is to make our movements smoother by providing the synovial fluid to serve as a lubricant. When a joint stops working properly, people experience arthritis. There are more than a hundred types of arthritis, and each one of them is referred to how a certain joint stopped functioning well. There is no cure for this disease, so we better do a great job in the prevention by taking the following advices on how to improve the quality of your joints. Exercise regularly, build strong muscles around the joints, control the weight, obese individuals tend to put too much pressure on their joints. Have a healthy diet, rich on vitamin D and calcium, avoid smoking, avoid drinking too much alcohol, and avoid joint injury. Here are the most important joints for a guitarist. Middle joint, knuckle joint, and wrist joint. Knuckle joint. Shoulder joint and neck joint. There is a concept that you need to learn in order to fully use your joint's potential and increase your technique. This concept can be called locking a joint. Abel Carlevaro used to call this by fixation. When we lock a joint, as shown in the following video, we are literally creating a bridge to the flow of energy between stronger and weaker muscles. Let's do an exercise in order to understand what I mean. So, to lock a joint equals to lean your weight over it. Try to move a chair using just your index finger like I'm doing on the following video. Do you realize how hard of a test this really is? Now, what if instead you decided to lock all your joints from your fingertip to your shoulders and move the chair using your entire body? Try it. Here's myself doing it. It's way easier now, and the question is why? It is easier because you transfer to your biceps, triceps, and chest muscles energy to your fingertip. In other words, your biceps, triceps, and chest muscles have more energy than your index finger by itself, and by locking your joints, you intelligently manage how to utilize all that energy towards moving the chair. Notice that you are still using your index finger, but in an indirect way instead. We will be studying in depth in this section how to intelligently utilize all your energy sources towards making your playing something natural and easy. Be excited because this will change your life. Well, I hope that up to this moment you could realize that we musicians are not only inspired and creative human beings, we are also real athletes who have to be constantly improving our bodies and health in order to fulfill our most desirable purpose to manifest music in the physical realm.